Hey, hey, my plant people. What's up, plant people? My name is Stacia, and this is Oops, I Soiled My Planties. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back, you crazy kids. So I just wanted to take a minute. Um, I know I haven't been uploading as regularly as I normally, well, I've never really uploaded regularly. I know that I haven't been uploading as regularly as I would like to. Anyway, so that being said, um, I'm gonna take extra measures. Well, I've, I've been, I was sick, trying to get myself back together, um, trying to regain my vim and vigor for recording, and uh, I think I'm getting there. So what I wanted to do was go ahead and give you a little bit of a plant tour. I decided to break it up into two parts because I do have quite a few plants at this point and I thought it would be a much shorter video to do it that way. So without further ado, let's look at some plants. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna do my best to keep this as steady as possible. I don't have a gimbal yet, but I'm getting one. So first we'll start here. Oh, it's the kitty tower. And Mr. Meowby. Hi, bubs. Yeah, him so sweet. Him so sweet. All right, now. Here we have my variegated Maranta. She's growing super good, super pretty. Right over here we have my Calathea White Fusion. So listen, y'all. This thing was growing so good for so long. And here recently, I don't know what it is. I don't know what to do for it. I don't know how to fix it. Here we have... Huh, Okay, so let me just give you a little rundown. So we had some thrips going on. We had some mealybugs going on. We had some scale going on. And I bugged out and a couple of the plants suffered. Um, this one in particular. Mm-hmm. We're working on it now. We've done some beneficial bugs, which did not help. Um, Cause honestly, I don't think I got as many in there as they said I did, but that's another story. So we're working on getting everything healthy again. We've got our Calathea rattlesnake, a little baby Calathea medallion. Up here we have, and I'm not 100% sure if this is, I think it's pearls and jade because it's got the little markings here, but it was a very, very juvenile plant when I got it. When I got it, it was probably, oh, sorry, little plant, probably like just that much, but it's grown. And then for a little while, it just did nothing right there. And then all of a sudden, uh, hello, little plant. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that and pot it back into the plant to thicken that one up a little bit. So let's come on around over here. Let's see, I'm gonna have to step up here. See how good I can get a picture of this for you. So, this is my sister's discolor. <laughs> it was big, it was beautiful, and then when I brought it home, every friggin' leaf died, <laughs> down to like two, and now it started to come back. So, what do you do? Next, we have my other Calathea medallion, which was suffering from spider mite damage. But I used Rachel's method over at Heart Shaped Leaves. If you don't follow her, go follow her because she's amazing. And I think I've knocked them out of this bugger. So let's hope. <laughs> over here, we have my first Monstera I ever bought. I got it for $10 at Walmart. And it doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, it has not grown much since I bought it. Here we have my Alocasia Polly. She's amazing. I love her. Just a beautiful, beautiful plant. And then of course, my love right here. So this plant here, I bought a few months ago, um, probably about, let's see what this is, January, October, November, December, January. So four or five months ago I bought this and 
when I got it, I cut it because, and I, I cut some pieces, I propagated them so I could, um, you know, help a friend with a giveaway. My girl, Nikki, actually, as a matter of fact, I was catching up on her latest, <laughs> but my girl, Nikki was doing a giveaway and I wanted to help her out while well, I got a really good deal on this bugger. So I got it and I brought it home and I mean, it's just got massive leaves and it's a huge friggin' plant. Well, when I cut it, this kind of stuff happened where, yeah, stuff just started to not look so happy. Then there's this one. Those are the two left that are not looking so good. But as you can see, we've got a new leaf here, a new leaf here. This is a new leaf here. We've got one coming. And please excuse. If you have kids, cats, or pets, kids, pets, or plants, that's what you're going to get. So we've got a new one here, there, there. I mean, she is really taken off. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this puppy looks like at the end of spring and summer this year. We'll go on up over here. We have my variegated, I think it's a Tretoscantia, Wandering Jew, however you prefer to call it. You know, there's some debate about that one. This was a side of the road theft plant. <laughs> It's not looking too good. My cats have attacked this poor thing, but she's getting a new leaf. Here we have a sad, sad, sad monster Adansonii round form. As you can see, I've got it in some Lekka, trying to get it to root. These are my cuttings from Plantastica. And here's another sickly looking. So look, you know, I'm dealing with the bugs. The bugs have attacked my shit and I'm doing everything I can. I spray, oh, I should have left it like that. You'd have never known, huh? Oh, here's another piece of the cutting. Um, this belongs with this plant. This is the first pl piece that got root rot. So I put it in some water and in my little pimp chalice. Yes, this is the piece that got root rot first. And then this piece just recently started looking sickly. So we're trying to see how well Lekka does. I wanted to try it out, so we're trying it out. We have a couple of air plants. I need to get some really cool things to prop those up and do their thing. But this one's got new growth right here. And this one, well, you can't really see. It's kind of hidden back there. Oh, oh whatever. You get the point. That is a cutting from my very first plant, which was obviously a golden pothos. Those are some <laughs> salvage pieces, pieces that have broken off and trying to save. Here we have my variegated Hoya Hindu rope. She's doing okay. She's got a couple of little pieces of new growth here. I can't wait to see more. That is a cutting of a ZZ from my boss. Here we have my staghorn fern I need to mount. And then we have my very new string of hearts. It's getting big quick. I can't wait to see that thing full size. Here we have a cutting of my Monstera Deliciosa. Next to it, we have a Hoya Crimson Princess, Dracaena, and then Orchid. This is a cutting of my Monstera Adansonii, which you guys will see on my next video. It's pretty big, but a couple pieces started to look, you know, kind of funky like this. And I'm not quite sure if it's light, if it's water, if it's what. And please, because I'm crazy <laughs> and I always rearrange stuff, please ignore the holes in my wall until I figure out where I want everything. And this is kind of like my makeshift, hang it here, see if I like it here kind of deal. Um, yeah. I will fill the holes and I will get everything put exactly where I want it, but for now. So here we have hidden, kind of behind that, an orchid that I saved from my boss. Here we have my Pilea peperomoides. And then I've got two more orchids here that are doing well. I'm just waiting for them to come back into flower. I've got a little Hoya Hindu rope cutting here. It's starting to root. It's doing all right. Can you see the roots? Not really, but they're there, I promise. Another Monstera Deliciosa cutting. Then we have my Hoya Pubicalyx Splash, Pubicalyx Splash, however you say that. And next to it, we have my very wonderful Home Depot find, 
which was this Hoya Hindu rope that I got for $15. Beautiful, love it. And over here, we've just got a little thing I hung on the wall with some cuttings in it. You know, we've got some Cebu Blue, some Golden Pothos, Golden Pothos, Golden Pothos, Scandapsis Pictus, just a few things. Then if we come on down here, we have my Burl Marks Philodendron, which is doing quite well. I cannot complain. Next to it, we have one of the cuttings that I took from the Gloriosum. And as you can see, it was a really big stem. There was three huge leaves on it. <laughs> they completely died back. And this is what I'm getting now. And I'm just waiting to see this thing get big. Behind that, we have a variegated Peperomia. Here we have my variegated Syngonium. She's growing quite well. She's very pretty and she's putting out new leaf. And then we have Raphidophora tetrasperma here. Love this plant. It's weird because like it went through a stage where it put off a couple new leaves really fast and now it's just like the. And then under here, we have another Peperomia watermelon. And then we have my Jose Bueno Philodendron, Philodendron Imbe, Variegata, however you want to say it. This is her newest leaf, or his newest leaf, because, you know, he's Jose, he's a boy. Um, no variegation on that one, but the one I got right before it is here, and beautiful. So, we'll see as the spring goes on. Down here, hidden on the floor, we have a Philodendron Moonlight. And then let's go over here. We have... My second Monstera Deliciosa I ever purchased here. She's beautiful. This is, ooh. So does anybody else have a problem reaching their leaves through the viewfinder? When you look through the viewfinder, you go to grab your leaf and you're like, <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is her newest leaf. She's big, she's large, she's in charge, and she's so pretty. And what I really like is this is the leaf I got just before. There are no center splits, but as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four. Love it. Down here we have a cutting from my Alcasia Amazonica that I showed you earlier. Here, please ignore the cords on the floor, is a cutting of a Aglionema Silver Bay. She's starting to put off some new leaves, so I'm super happy. Here we have a black stem alocasia that I got at ooh, the Heavy WP. Um, I don't know the real name for it, but that's what it is. And as you can see, I need cover pots so bad. I'm working on it, working on it. Here, my kitties knocked it. We have my Ficus Altissima, and as you can see, new growth. Here's another side of the road theft plant, this Alocasia. I'm not quite sure what brand it is, what style it is, what name it is, whatever you want to call it, but I snagged it off the side of the road and it's growing very well as you can see. Here we have my Syngonium that my cats decided one day they were going to try to make a snack out of. <laughs> it's also growing well. Variegated Peace Lily. And this poor thing was attacked, attacked by thrips horribly. So as you can see, there's some damage, but she's recovering. She's doing well between Spinosad, Beneficial Bugs, Neem Oil. I think we're going to get it knocked out. So let's go back over here. Sorry, I should have gone this way. Here we have my very first plant ever. This is my Golden Pothos. I had this thing now for about six years and when i really got into plants about eight months ago i killed this thing i gave it root rot i overloved it and she died off which is how we ended up with the cuttings cut it all up put some of it in soil put some of it in water and here we have the result she's getting big large and in charge again this poor adansoni eye no matter what i do it keeps doing this doing this this one just kind of like fell over on itself this is the newest leaf. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Here we have my Philodendron Painted Lady. I don't know what happened here. Probably my cats because, you know, that's how they do. Here we have a Peperomia Splash. Here we have Neon Pothos. I love this one. This one's cool. Again, 
Kitties. I've sprayed them enough with the water bottle now that they've started leaving them alone. That is my Farfugium japonica. And then we have last, but not least, oh, wait, <laughs> I already showed you that. I lied. So let me give you a quick little pan. Let's get over here. Kind of give you a quick little zoom around to see. Ooh, that's bright. Let's get over this way and see if we can uh, give you an overview of my living room how it looks, where we're living. That's what I have in my living room, you guys. So I hope you liked this part of the tour. The next time will be the dining room and my bedroom to see the remainder of the plants that I have right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, talk to you soon. All right, you guys, so that was my January 2020 living room plant tour. It's the room that everybody sees when they come into my house, and it's the room you can see through my windows because, you know, I'm crazy, and I have removed all curtains from my east-facing windows so we can get as much light in here as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I hope to see you around again soon. Don't forget to like down below, and uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Turn on all notifications, because if you like what you see, there will be plenty more to come. So thanks a lot for hanging out again, you guys, and uh, peace out. <laughs>